If you have a NAS, chances are, if it's a current version, that it supports iSCSI. Now, iSCSI is a really handy uh, feature on these NAS servers, as it will allow you to reserve a certain part of your NAS, 500 gigabyte or one terabyte, whatever size you want, as a local attached drive. So it will actually um, fool your system to see it as a local drive while it isn't, and it will prevent you to work a lot with network mappings iSCSI is especially beneficial if you want to share data with multiple computers. So I'm going to show you how uh, you set up your QNAP NAS server uh, at this time for uh, iSCSI. So the first thing we do is log on to the administrative console. There we go. And then browse down to the disk management and select iSCSI from the list. First thing you need to do is of course enable iSCSI which I already did and once it is enabled click apply and go to target management. Now we're just going to use the configuration wizard which is easy and we're going to select an iSCSI target with a mapped LUN. So we're just going to click next here and next again. Give it a name uh, QNAP DS which stands for data storage. We're just going to enter it twice using the same name. We're going to leave all options unselected. Go to next. No chap uh, authentication is necessary. Just click next again. Thin provisioning or instant allocation. We do uh, thin provisioning. The LUN name would be QNAP DS. And then we need to select the size that we want to give it. And we're just going to select 500. So then we click next. And then you see an overview of everything we've done. Click on next. It's going to be created now and then click finish.